this is the project site that oh it's been two or three weeks ago that I did drone video of of the this area and because this this area has a a lot of construction a lot of dirt me, being moved and a lot of unstabilized soils not not by my choice but uh, the construction company and and landowner uh, that's they, they've elected to to um, not stabilize some of these areas and and it's been my recommendation to them that that they that they are completely exposed uh, to tremendous soil erosion so you can see up here uh, we're, we're from here down to where I am is probably uh, 300 feet in elevation difference this road comes here and you can see it comes down um, but they've called me back because of the issue that I'm about to show you. I'm going to spin around 180 degrees and you can see kind of where I'm going with this. So spin around 180 degrees. Uh, this is that's like a seven foot hole and this just washes out. This was a pond they were building. This was about 20 feet deep and now it's silted in completely. Um, you can see all of their dirt work has been eroded away. It's pretty well ended in this pond. Um, the sides have sloughed off. But uh, you can see here, it's a little, a little pedestal of native vegetation. They had these, and there's another one. Um, I, I think those are some interesting uh, talking points that I'll do another video on here in just a minute. But the idea is that because they did not stabilize up top, which you cannot see, the water ran down came between there's actually a, a, a tributary here in these trees and funneled out here and blew out there and uh, ruined their dirt work so uh, some stabilization at, at a minimum would have done uh, this project a tremendous favor and, and saved this landowner a tremendous amount of money